Today I'm going to be showing you my three methods for overcoming beat block, something that all producers go through at some point. Let's just dive straight into it. So the first method is really simple, just recreation. Basically, you just want to take a beat that you really like. It could be something old that you've listened to a thousand times or something new that you just heard yesterday. And the idea is that you want to just start trying to recreate the track and you'll find pretty quickly that it gets the creative juices flowing and turns completely into its own thing. So as an example, I'm going to start off with Notorious Thugs by Biggie Smalls feet Bone Thugs and Harmony. The beat is just so sick, so I just want to start like recreating some of the elements and use that as a foundation for something new. So I'll start off by emulating the drum pattern. I've got it lined up on the grid here so I can just match it to the reference track. Pretty basic, let's just put in some more hi-hats and perks. Next up, we'll do the bass line, which is like a descending pattern. Now, obviously, one of the main elements of the track is that piano that plays from the beginning. But I'm going to leave that out because otherwise I'll just end up completely recreating this track. Instead I'm going to go onto the guitar next which is a big element of the track. At least there because I have a bit more control over the guitar I can try to come up with some new ideas hopefully. So this is where the creativity comes in. Now that I've picked up the guitar and played a few of the licks from the original Notorious Thugs track, I've started to think of a different idea. So it's now going to turn into its own thing. So what I'm going to do is delete that bass pattern and I'm going to look for like a sort of Rhodes keyboard sample. Because I think making something really smooth with those nice sultry guitar licks on top would sound really cool. <laughs> my perfect sort of vibe. So yeah, you can hear how different that is from a track like Notorious Thugs, like really hard hitting like gangster anthem, which is now like turned into this sultry, smooth R&B sort of track. So next method is a bit of an obvious one, but inspiration. You need to be inspired to be able to express yourself, I think. You need to be able to experience new things. You need to be able to consume different types of content, get different feelings so that you can try and convey those feelings and make other people feel something too. So for my inspiration here, I'm gonna use an anime that I binged over Christmas, Attack on Titan. If you haven't seen Attack on Titan, check it out it's one of the most astonishing things i've ever seen in my life so i'm basically going to take one of the songs from the soundtrack and sample it and just like before see where it takes me So I've just taken this small snippet to use. I think there's quite a lot there to work with. So let's just chop up the progression, put some EQ on it. So now it's got a bit more of a darker vibe to it. Put a bit of rain underneath, make it really ominous.
Now let's put a Moog bass underneath, just always sounds good for these sort of vibes, I think. From this point, to be honest, it's quite easy to expand this and turn it into a full beat, mainly because the sample that we've got is just perfect in terms of the vibe and atmosphere. And like I said, this all comes from that inspiration initially. So it's a really sort of powerful method for being able to overcome beat block, I think. Now if we layer the sample again and just add a shaper box. Now let's just add some trap drums and turn this into like a really hard dark trap beat. Take out the synth bass when the drums come in and just do like a standard uh, spins 808 I think. Alright so with a bit of arrangement and a few call cool edits and adding a little bit of Kendrick Lamar I think we've turned this into like a really fire beat. I come to you a sinner and I humbly repent for my sins. I believe that Jesus is Lord. I believe that you raised him from the dead. I will ask that Jesus come to my life and be my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for saving me with your precious blood. Amen. So yeah, you can see how this whole beat came from that initial inspiration, which is from watching an anime show. So it can be from the most random things, but you've got to experience different things to be able to get that initial inspiration. I come to you as so the final method is something that I think a lot of producers can neglect and that is experimenting. Sometimes you just have to try something different, whether it's new genre, new sounds, new plugin, new techniques. You just got to think outside the box, get out of your comfort zone and just mess about with the intention of increasing your skill set. And usually I find once again that something really cool can come out of this and turn into a really great beat. So for this track, I'm playing around with a new K Trinada kit that I've just downloaded. So yeah, I'm just going to experiment with some new sounds, a new genre and some new plugins that I've just downloaded. Throw in this little shaker thing. So you can see I'm just taking all these different sounds from the Cajunada kit, trying to build a nice sort of percussive groove. Okay, that's the drum pattern done. I think it's a really cool sort of humanized, groovy house type of beat. So next I'm gonna go on to the bass guitar. I'm just using Ample Bass Light, which is a really, really good bass guitar plugin. At the moment getting some cool sort of Stevie Wonder vibes from this just from that bass guitar sound. Next is layer like a synth or something. We're working in I think C minor.
So I mentioned I've got a few new plugins as well that I need to experiment with, see what they can do, see what they're good for. One of those is Bark of Dog, which is basically a free alternative to Voice of God, which if you follow a lot of mixing engineers, you probably have heard of Voice of God. It's really, really common. And it's essentially just something that helps with your low end. And uh, let's just see what we can do with it. So definitely something cool to play around with. I think I'm going to be using this a lot considering the effect I've just seen. Okay, next up to add to the melody, I think this is screaming out for a really funky electric guitar. So let's just throw that in and just come up with some cool licks. That is pretty funky. So hopefully these methods can help you out next time you have beat block and get you back into the creative waters. Let me know in the comments some of your tips for overcoming beat block. Anyways, have a good one. Peace out.